All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the co-main event. Please welcome, making his way to the blue corner, Irfan Mulovatinovic. I don't think I hit that all right as, as well as our, as our man Mike did. That's why he's, he makes the big bucks, though, after all. Yeah. Mula Batinovic. Mula Batinovic. <laughs> Wait, you get paid for this? <laughs> hey. You get paid? This should be a fun one. I'm excited for it. 1-0 as a professional. Going against a guy with 12 professional fights is a lot of experience. Yeah, anytime you see guys do that, you got to think that they are confident in, in their fighter. You know, it, even though uh, C.J. Hunter with a 6-6 six and six record, and that's a lot of fights. It that's is. a lot of professional fights to go out there and test yourself against. So good on Irfan to come out here and put it on the line against this guy. Trains out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri at Absolute Martial Arts. I'm excited to see what he's all about. Irfan gets into the cage, makes that final step. He's ready for C.J. Hunter. And now his opponent making his way to the red corner, C.J. Hunter. C.J. coming out with a little uh, Nelly in the background, one of St. Louis' own. Hey, baby. Sporting that very weird turtle backpack that I've never quite understood. But CJ is known for being pretty decent on the ground. He's a gamer, he's slick, he's been in the game for a long time. Out of St. Charles MMA with Mike Rogers over there. Mike Rogers is a great coach. This should be a good one. And yeah, the St. Charles MMA guys have had a good night. They, they they've had a good showing and you saw they, ca they captured the lightweight title earlier. Everybody's singing the Nelly in the crowd. Yeah. This is a popular one, I, I guess, in this there, area. Well, Nelly's from St. Louis. Hey, this is baby. a popular song. CJ Hunter knows how to get the crowd on his side. There is no doubt. I got to say, uh, Malabatutinovic has, yeah. a, has a very eerie uh, aura to him. And, and I'm, I'm really interested to see how this plays out, the energy of CJ Hunter versus the stoic attitude of Irfan. Yeah, CJ with those purple shorts. Tells me he may be a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the co-main event of the evening. Arnold, Missouri, are you ready? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the NFA lightweight division. Brought to you tonight by Serve Pro and CBI Streetcars. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu specialist stands six foot tall, weighed in 155.3 pounds. He holds a professional record, one win, zero defeats. Representing absolute martial arts in fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, by way of Bosnia, Herzegovina, Irfan Mulabotinovic. His opponent across the NFA cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a mixed martial artist thing, six foot one, weight in 155 pounds. He holds a professional record, six wins, six defeats. Representing St. Charles MMA, and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, CJ Ground Shark Hunter. Your referee in charge of the Cole main event, Tim Francis. All right, gentlemen, we went over all the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up and go back to your corner. This one has fireworks written all over it. You're right, Irfan has a bit of a, an eerie aura around him. Irfan, Irfan looks like he's lining up in the southpaw position. Southpaw versus orthodox fight. Lead leg team kick with a, with a, a nice cross behind it. CJ's looking to get this to the ground. Irfan, some great defense right there. Yeah, Irfan with a, a good amount of balance, digs his underhook, but yeah, it looks like CJ Hunter trying to score this takedown. Looks like he wants to grapple in this fight. Yeah. 
Big elbow. elbow over the top. Oh, CJ Hunter pulls guard. You can see him going for that rubber guard right there. I've never been a big fan of it. I'm not really sure CJ, what he's got from here in MMA. CJ super dexterous. Looks like he's just trying to stay in control of the position. But yeah, I'm not sure how much of a threat he is from here. Irfan looks like he's well balanced and has his hips in a good position to stay based out. Yeah, but CJ's pretty slick on the ground from what I remember. Looks like he's trying to, is that like a boogie choke? What he should do is elbow Irfan right in the face. His face is right there, he should just start elbowing him from his back. Irfan just trying to close the space and make it difficult for him to create angles for a choke. Yeah, I think he's confused on, and trying to figure out what, he, what he's got going on here. I mean, CJ Hunter doing a good job of just stalemating the position. Absolutely. Irfan though, finding the cage and kind of stacking him up so that he can't get much going. Yeah, he may be working for something that we, we can't see from our angle. Knees to the thigh, is it the butt? You gotta, you gotta make sure you don't need the back. I'm just not sure what's going on with CJ Hunter down there. Yeah, he might just be kind of holding position. I mean, if he locks his hands, he's got a little bit of a choke, I guess. And I imagine for Earphone, this is just annoying. Annoying, <laughs> yeah, and, and you want to posture up and cause damage, but CJ Hunter, again, doing a good job of keeping him wrapped up and, and not allowing him for, to posture up and, and cause damage. Yeah, Irfan has to, uh, he's got to carry that weight almost, you know what I mean? Keeping up there, stay, staying on his feet like that. He's almost holding CJ Hunter's weight, which is probably close to 170 pounds tonight. Looks like he's got a triangle. Yeah, he's got something re reversed. closed up and CJ going after he's some got that elbows. Arm. Both arms are in, this is just a weird position. CJ just with his long legs is capable of. Yeah, right in front of us here, we can see it very clearly. And I don't think there's a choke going on, but it's just probably really uncomfortable and tight in there. That's that's kind of where I'm leaning at. I don't, I don't really think anything's happening. Weird stuff from CJ Hunter. Yeah, he's got both arms triangle, and he's just trying to torque an arm left or right, just trying to make this uncomfortable for Irfan. Mula Bitovonovic. You nailed it. Yo, man. <laughs> he could swing around for an arm bar right there, but. Looks like Irfan's uh, safe now. And, yeah, he's got the high guard. You know, good on CJ. He's doing a good job of attempting different submissions, but you got to think he's on his back. And from a judge's standpoint, they're, they're going to judge this fight in Irfan's favor. He's on top. Even though CJ is attempting things, I, I don't know what's actually come close. This armbar looks close. Yeah, Irfan's throwing up the defense right away. CJ's waiting to throw that leg around. I think he's waiting to get secured with, the, uh, with his own grip to secure the arm. Look. If Irfan says, I'm going to slam my way out of it, and it works. Irfan really Elbow over the top. Irfan decides to let loose, Listen, and this crowd is behind him. If Irfan was smart, when he's able to create space, he would just separate. If he was smart, just call him stupid? Well, I'm not saying he's <laughs> stupid, but this is the dangerous part of the fight. CJ obviously has a, right there. a very tricky guard, so let's not play in here. Look, this is a bad spot. Absolutely. This is a I bad agree. spot. I agree. So for Irfan... Though, though he's gonna probably eat this round out, if I'm his corner, I'm telling him, hey, stay out of this guy's guard. Absolutely. But remember, CJ pulled guard. It wasn't like he took, you know True. what I mean? It was kinda, True. you don't usually see that in an MMA fight, yeah. typically. 10 seconds left. Tricky stuff from CJ Hunter. 10 seconds with a both arm in triangle. And Irfan ending it with some elbows. You, you got to think he still wins the round. He stays uh, on top. I don't know. It's tricky. It's tricky. CJ looks like he might have blown his legs out a little bit there. He held the triangle for five minutes. 
Yeah, again, if I'm on out to round number two, once again, this fight is brought to you by Serve Pro and CBI Streetcars. Yeah, again, if I'm in Irfan's corner, I'm telling him to stay out of stay out of CJ's guard. Go out there, get his jab going, maybe try to establish some stand up and, and, and see how the fight progresses from there. But CJ's dangerous from off of his back. That's not the place you want to fight this kid. No, CJ is known for doing jujitsu, being in, in the jujitsu world. You want to keep him stand. You want to keep him standing up and, and, and striking. Be ready for a takedown, or be ready for him to pull guard. He pulls guard. Back away. CJ has it. Cracks a little bit of a smile. I will say he does have fun with this. He loves this sport. Earfronts looks looks to be pretty fresh. Oh, he didn't want to touch the gloves. Side kick right there. Body kick. But that seems to be the problem is he gets his kicks caught, and now CJ's going to be on top. And let's see how CJ works from the top position. Oh. Obviously tricky from his back. Irfan gets right back up to his feet. Nice work. He's a swim doing a, under. Yeah, doing a good job grabbing his wizard, kind of torquing down on it, working his way back to his feet. Again, in this position, Irfan, don't score the takedown. I, you know? I, yeah, I agree with you. I think right here I just Separate. start punching. Bad attempt at a knee. That was dumb. But look at CJ just kind of locking up again, pull, it, pulling guard. And now, C, CJ's comfortable from fighting here. He obviously has a lot of game. He's got tricky stuff. But we saw in the first round, Irfan was able to stay in a good position and ultimately win the round. Let's see if we see that same type of fight play out here. I'd like to see him do something uh, that, in my opinion, is uh, an effective technique to try to win the fight. Like, if you're just going to hold him in a triangle position with both arms in, show me show me why you're doing that. You know what I mean? Now, it, I know there's some submissions and things that people are good at, like, like, uh, like I said earlier, like a boogie choke. I don't know how to do it. I just know that there's been a guy in St. Charles MMA that has pulled, like, three of them off in okay. LFA. Yeah. Two or three, something like that. Elbows coming down heavy now. Heavy elbows from Irfan, and those are doing damage. They're coming down with conviction. And now you see as the fight wears on and CJ's legs are maybe a little more tired, it's not as easy for him to get that offense going and, and, and stalemate him and shut him down. So we're seeing when Irfan has his moments, they're bigger moments. Yes, I agree, and I think in the judges' eyes, they're gonna notice that. This has got to be so frustrating, though. You know, I, I, I know I've been in a guy's guard that was tricky and kept me guessing all the time, and it's very frustrating. Yeah, but right here, I don't think he's guessing. I don't think he's just not doing anything. Yeah. Like, if you're fine, pick him up, slam him again. I don't I don't ever suggest doing that. But why, why not? It worked last time, you know what I mean? Got to watch his right arm there, though. Knees to the butt. That is always going to hurt. A lot of nerves right there. A lot of See, muscle. Yeah, well, there's nerve. Yeah, right where the, the leg meets the butt, that's always not a fun spot to get rubbed out. Irfan's doing the best he can with what he's given. He needs to just stand up and try to back away. Stand up and disengage. Stand at, up and disengage. At this point, now he's ring, he's ringing elbows. But yeah, now C.J. Hunter looking for footlocks and they're slippery and things are tricky in there. Yeah, I, I agree. Irfan could just back away and probably be better for it. That's he, what I think he needs to do. Is, is he is having success here though? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's he's definitely winning the round. Much more success in this second round than he had in the first. I agree. That's a bad lump on the head. You got to know that came from a nice sharp elbow from Irfan. Ooh, another, another one. one lands pretty solid. That is big. CJ's head just flat on the mat. He took all of that. And again, it's great. You got a you got a tricky guard, but man, we got to make something happen with it. If we don't use use Irfan's posture to stand back to your feet so that you can do something because what's happening now isn't working. 100% it's not working. I think Irfan needs to disengage. And so a couple ways I think you can do that. 
standard like guard break is just put your knee right in their butt. And at that position, you just lean back a little bit, the guard breaks right there, it's open, needs to stand up, disengage. Agreed, once it's the guard's open, Adam, just go ahead and back out, back away, and make this guy fight. But Irfan continues to kind of add it up, take the momentum, and he seems he seems to have been safe thus far. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely winning this round for sure. 30 seconds are left in the round. CJ Hunter didn't like that last elbow. I think it poked him in the eye. Now see, how do you score that? Is that a strike or an eye poke? Definitely a strike. I, it was his elbow I, straight to his eye. You gotta move your head, son. Well now I've seen, what about when someone kicks and their toe gets you in the eye? Yeah, that's, that's strange. That's the same, but it, in my opinion, it's a, it's a kick, it's a strike. Sure. That's, that's a tricky one. But you know what, if, an eye, if a finger pokes you, it's a poke, you yes. know, so I guess if a toe pokes you. But I guess it's because you're not kicking with a fist. Unless you are. Hey, <laughs> you're a bad man if you are. Yeah. <laughs> Who can't kick with a fist? Who are you talking about? Hey, hey, you pull that off on the 15th, <laughs> I'll send you a bonus check. Hit him with that foot, that foot fist. <laughs> hey, <laughs> all day. Wow. This third round's gonna be interesting because I believe it might be one apiece. Depends on how they gave, who they gave that first round to. Yeah. Both guys noticeably tired. Let's see who wants it more. Third round about to get going. Third and final round underway. Nice little. Third and final round in our co-main event brought to you by Surf Pro, CBI Streetcars. Arnold, Missouri makes some noise for round three. Here we go. CJ Hunter still has a smirk on his face. Irfan is coming out. I think he's going to come out and try to be a little bit aggressive. I just don't want to see CJ pulling guard I bet again. he opens up with a huge kick off that leg. Ooh. That was not, I don't believe that was a low kick. I don't know where that thing went. But also, I don't think CJ Hunter's the guy to say, hey, they hit me. He, he didn't look tired. He didn't look like he needed a breather. Yerfon's got some interesting tattoos. I would like to know the story behind those. Almost like clasps. Mark of the wolf. <laughs> Is that a Twilight reference? He got that from <laughs> his wolf family. <laughs> he was raised by, like a young Mowgli. This crowd's getting a little rambunctious. <laughs> Some of the crowd's yelling that they think he's tired. I don't think he's tired. CJ Hunter didn't look very tired. That's why I say maybe that kick glanced off the leg and hit the cup. Not sure what happened. Didn't see it exactly. It, it didn't look low to me. It looked like a good kick to me, but then again, spur of the moment, we can't see everything. It's never a good sign when the dot comes in and the ref calls it off. It depends on how they're gonna score this. I don't know if it'll be a no contest. I don't know if it'll be a DQ. Irfan makes a little hand gesture and shuts his entire crowd up. 
Irfan in control of everything. Oh, yeah. He said, hush. They said, okay. <laughs> Well, CJ's turtle backpack comes right in. That's always needed. That was an interesting fight. Very uh, lackluster With the fight and stopping uneventful. on an accidental foul, we go to the judges' scorecards. I think they're going to score this fight as, as it occurred. So. As, it, in, as it should. Yeah, and Irfan might have had two rounds. He may still come out the victor. So I think the right man wins if, if that's how it plays out. Yeah, I agree with you. Just an interesting turn of events. I guess uh, they're trying to square it away with what's going to happen. Got to say, your phone had some great moments. Looked strong. Yeah, I wish I wish we had the replay right there. Check it out. See where it hit. You know, it would be crazy if they gave the first round to C.J. Hunter and it ended up being a draw. Well, unless they score this, the third round up until that point, which I think is what they're supposed to do. <clears throat> which in that case, I believe Irfan won decisively. I think Irfan won the first two rounds. I know, I know CJ was attempting stuff off of his back, but nothing was really threatening. I didn't ever think that the fight was gonna be over, so. Hard to say. Yeah, it is. It's definitely hard to say. Happy I'm not a judge. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Lukanoff over there explaining the, everything that's going on. He is the head of the athletic commission, so he's got it all under control. Take it up to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and the judges score them out 29-29. 29-29 and 30-27 for a majority draw. Yeah, kind of what we thought. It just depends on how you score that first round. Crowd's not happy about that. I think they think uh, CJ took a little bit of a dive. We don't know. We'll see, man. We'll see. They'll probably try to run this one back. 